In this video, we will be learning how to duplicate geometries in a sequence. Let's first create a basic box. In order not to see the defined plane, I will create the geometry to connect it to the output. Then I will use move command for the application. Here we see that it is moved on the z-axis as predefined. I can use a vector to move the object in a place that I can define. Let's type a 10 and enter. Then we can see the difference by connecting it to each individual axis. So now let's create a sequence. For that I will use series command. Let's connect the number and the count a number. In this case I will be creating 10 individual points with a 10 unit distance in between one another. If I connect the series to X input I will be making the duplication on x-axis. Same way, if I connect the same series to y input, then to the z input, I will be realizing the application on each axis at the same time. But in total, the result will be only a multiplication of 10 times. So, to create the duplication in a more geometrical form, that is to say, to duplicate the geometry 10 times on each different axis, I will copy and paste the vector and move command. Let's first right click on geometry input and use graft option. Then I can connect the move command to the first one, then use y axis in the vector command. Let me make the same thing again for the z axis. Here we can see the result. Finally, we can always change the values in the series command as we wish. A second way to create a sequence in duplicated objects could be a following predefined path. So let's just keep our base geometry and create a path to follow. For that, I will use three different vectors. So, after creating one, I will simply copy and paste it to change the input values. Then, I will use interpolate data command to create a curve. Let's just change again the input values of the vector until we reach the better curve. And this one seems quite okay to me. Now I aim at creating points on this curve having the same distance from one another. So I will use divide curve command. Let's now type 50 to see how many times we can divide this curve. Finally, I will use move to point command for this application. My base point will be the center of the geometry, which I can get it by using area command. Then let's take the center point as input. After connecting the second input, which is the divided points on the curve, we can see the result. Let's just preview of anything but the move command. And we can play with the division number as we want. I just want to remind that in the second part of this course, we already have seen something like this aspect, but that time we use populate geometry command and two random points. This approach will help us in the future to create more manageable scripts. Finally, I want to improve a way to create a sequence in which each object is at the edge of one another. For example, let's create a simple staircase. So, first of all, I will manage a base geometry to be the size of a step of a stair. I'm typing 1.5 to be the stairway width. As for the thread width, I'm going to use 0.28 and I will use 0.18 units for the rise of the step. After reaching the correct form, I'm starting the duplication process. I will first use the wrap command to select one edge.
For that, I'm using list item command. So my aim is to select two opposite edges to copy in a sequence. So let's play with the indices of the command to select two opposite edges. After that, I will use endpoints command to connect it to these edges. So at the end, if I use the move to point command again and use the endpoint of these different curves, I will easily realize multiplication of the step. The thing here is that this way helps us to create the duplication only once. So to have more steps, I'm going to apply the curve approach that we just learned. Let's use the line command to create a line based on these endpoints. Then I'm going to scale this line. As for the center point, I'm using the point that is right on the ground. Then the scale factor will be the number of the steps that we are duplicating. In this case, I will create the 16 steps stair. Then I will divide this line 16 times to take a 16 base point on the line. Now we are ready to connect these points to the related input of the move to point command. Then you can always play with the number slider as wished. Thank you.